What is up YouTube, Jay Lock'em up here and I've got the most overpowered best badge in the game right now. It is the Grand Badge. This badge is amazing. When I was in pro -Am and this badge activated for me, I was just shooting the lights out. I was shooting from hella deep, like pretty much half court. I got a couple greens from damn near half court. It's crazy. This badge reads, your spot up shooting ability has reached an elite level, which has earned you the Sharpshooter Pro Grand Badge. When you're hot in the game, Sharpshooter Pro will activate inside of your player indicator and for a small period of time, your spot up shooting abilities will reach an unconscious level. When it says unconscious, it means unconscious. It is insane everyone. Now I'm going to show you guys this Mike Wang blog post to give you guys the start on how to get this badge. It pretty much says that to get the badge, you uh, have to perform well within your archetype. Uh, sharpshooter, shoot shots, playmaker, get a lot of assist, post scorer, phase, glass cleaner, get rebounds. And when you get the badge and it's activated in the game, you get it the same way. You know, sharpshooter hit some, a couple of threes, that's such. And when that happens, you reach an unconscious level playing your best basketball possible. Now to me, the badge seems like it'd be the best for a sharpshooter because you're just not missing when this happens. If you're a, like a post score, that might be pretty nice too. Um, Playmaker doesn't seem good at all. Like you might get the ability to like just start breaking ankles or something. Uh, maybe they'll pass this, they're not gonna get intercepted. Maybe uh, your dimer gets activated a lot more and your team is gonna hit all of their shots or something like that. The playmaker doesn't seem good to me. Shot curse seems really good to me too because it's gonna hit a bunch of this fadeaway shots and that kind of stuff. To get this badge, it took me 35 games and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys my stats that I had at the end of this to give you guys an idea of how much work it took, how long it took me to get this badge. And if you're a sharpshooter, I can almost guarantee you if you match these couple of stats, you will have the badge. Like some dudes show me the stats before um before I got it and I matched them and I got the badge. So try to get every single uh, stat that I have and you should be either around getting it or you will have it. So I had 1500 to 1600 points. I had 651 field goals made, a thousand field goals attempted, 270 three pointers made, uh, 420 three pointers attempted. So guys, if you are a sharpshooter, just try just try to match match these stats, go maybe a little bit more until you get it. But I can almost guarantee you that you're gonna get the badge if you match these stats. Also, I would uh, just to be on the safe side, get as many Hall of Fame badges as you can. When I got this badge, I had five. The other guy who showed me this, uh, he only had three, so it's possible to get him with less than five. But to be on the safe side, get as many Hall of Fame badges as you can. I have a video on that. If you guys have any uh, comments or questions, please leave them in the comments down below, as well as uh, hit me up on Twitter at JLockHimUp. I'm probably more likely to respond to you and respond to you faster. Hit me up on Twitter, so give me a follow there. Any questions, forward them to me. I will answer everything to the best of my ability. Huge, huge shout out to E-Train. He helped me to get this badge. He showed me all of his stats. He was the first person to my knowledge to get this. He helped me out so much with this. Just showing me the stats gave me an idea what to do. And I matched the stats, I got the badge. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna leave his Twitter link and his Pro AM team's uh, Twitter link in the description. Guys, can you guys please uh, give this video a thumbs up, like the video, uh, comment, subscribe. Until next time, see you later.